When it comes to floor plans, you want something that works for your family, your lifestyle, and how you are going to use your motorhome, right? Whether you are full-timing as a couple, or maybe you're a family taking long, wonderful vacations, you need something that is going to work for you. I'm Steve Duval from Thor Motor Coach, and I may have the perfect solution. This is the 2023 Magnitude RS36, and it is a really, really wonderful adaptable floor plan. With the slide in, and we'll put it out in just a second, you can get to the driver's seat, you can get to the dinette, to the theater seats, to the kitchen, to the fridge, to the bunks, to the bath, and back to the king bed. And the king bed is not on a tilt-of-view mechanism, so in the event you would need to lay down with the slide in, you can do it. But what do you say we go ahead and put this slide wall out? open this magnitude up and start our tour. Now remember, the magnitude needs to be on, the parking brake needs to be set, make sure you are leveled. You head on over to Rapid Camp Plus and we will talk through Rapid Camp Plus in just a little bit here, but first let's get this slide out. Hit extend. This is a full wall slide. And as it goes out, let's take a look at this beautiful new decor. The cabinet you see here, this is shell gray with mood shimmer interior. Your other choice is skipping stone, and that is gonna be tied into the regatta wood. So whatever look you like, you can get in your magnitude. The slide is just about out. Three, two, one. There we go. This magnitude is ready for business. Let's start with our seating options in here. The Dream Dinette. I've talked about the Dream Dinette. I love the Dream Dinette. So many uses here, right? Games, meals, maybe you are working, maybe you're getting whatever it is you need to do. It happens right here. Need to charge the device right here. We do have a wireless charger built right in. And if you don't support wireless charging, USB-A and USB-C ports, you can charge your devices right there. Cup holders for the trip. Yeah, I am charging my phone right now. A lot of storage right up above. You have four cabinets. There's a 110 over here underneath the dinette in case you would need to charge something else. And what's great about this, a couple of things here. So you're sitting here for the drive. There are seat belts here. Maybe you're traveling with little ones who need a car seat. Built-in safety seat tether. You're gonna get that standard on your RS36. In the event you need to make this into a bed, you can do that. You grab the handle, you push down, just like that. Easy peasy. In the morning, it's back up. 70 inch dinette, by the way. So 70 inches, seats four, very, very comfortable. What do we have here? Standard theater seating. Now, if you need more sleeping, because this, this, this magnitude is all about sleeping. It's the bunkhouse model. If you need sleeping, you can option in the sofa, but the theater seating is standard. Right here, you put your feet up, places for the drinks, a lot of storage down below. TV up above the bunk here, so whether you're in the dinette or you're here, maybe you'd like to take in a couple of shows. There's an HDMI distribution box in this cabinet right here. And a couple of things you can do with that. Hook up a streaming device, hook up a gaming console, keep yourself entertained. And with the WineGuard Connect 2.0 4G hotspot and Wi-Fi extender, you can do whatever you like with your entertainment because you now have internet everywhere you go. We talked about doing work here. Easy while you are on the road. All you have to do is get a data plan through LineGuard or through your favorite carrier. You insert your SIM card right up top, log on, type in all of the information, set your password, and now you are a rolling hotspot. When you're at the campsite, the RV resort, maybe you are boondocking and there is a restaurant or a mall or something nearby that has a Wi-Fi signal, you can tap into that nice, safe, and secure as well. So you have the theater seats or the sofa. You have the dinette. So sleeping here, possible sleeping here, unless you like to lounge back and fall asleep in the recliner. Your other sleeping option up front, this large overhead bunk. A look at the size of this. You can easily sleep too up here. It is 52 by 80. The ladder stores in the closet, it collapses, it's nice, it's out of the way. And when you wanna let in the shade, right over on your Rapid Camp Plus is how you can control the sky shade. You can also pair that with your phone, but look at that. 
your window to the world and it lets in a lot of natural light. So a lot of great options up here as well as a lot of great storage, a lot of cabinet space everywhere you look. You have sun shades to block out that harsh sunlight. You also have roller shades at night for privacy. And there are shades that go around the front as well, privacy curtains. So you can really enclose this and keep it cool, really. And when you're in some of those hot weather climates, you want to keep the sunlight out and keep the temperature down inside, you can go ahead and throw all of that up as well. Nice flooring, residential vinyl flooring in here, 84-inch ceiling height. You have two 13.5 BTU ACs, one up front to keep everybody up here cool. The other is back in the bedroom. We'll control those with Rapid Camp Plus as we continue our tour here. How about a nice large pantry? Because we talked about different strokes for different folks as you're traveling, right? So let's say you're traveling with the family or you're full timing or you're gone for a long excursion. These cabinets are massive. So not only can you store all of your food in here but it's big enough for appliances right so you can put the coffee maker in here the popcorn maker whatever you need big enough to store your appliances in here you have drawers one two three four drawers down here residential refrigerator as well moving over to our kitchen large kitchen solid surface countertops solid surface sink covers when you need a little bit more room but you can see we have the full-size keurig up here pop-up outlet to plug in the appliances you keep right over here in the pantry the best of both worlds when it comes to cooktops two gas burners you also have a single electric induction burner convection microwave hit convect and this is going to be your oven so you can bake you can roast you can air fry whatever you would do in your oven or your air fryer you can do right up here more storage up above, store the extra coffee mugs right up here, the extra bowls down below, even more storage. I love right here, a nice pull-out drawer so you can store the pots, the pans in here. Push that in, another large storage over here. You can store the sink covers down here. There's a garbage can. And then you have one, two, three, four more drawers down below. So all kinds of amazing room up front. Now, when it comes to storage, for those of you who don't need the bunks, you're gonna love the way this is set up. Let's just go ahead and get right to the bunks because this is a great option here. So the bunks, when you need the bunks for maximum sleeping in here, 26 by 72 is the size, upper bunk, bottom bunk. Remember when you were a kid and you used to fight with, I get the top bunk, I... you're probably gonna have to deal with a little of that here, but that's okay. Very comfortable, they both have the same amenities. Tablet holder in here, 110 plugs, you have USB-A charging ports, you also have hookup for cable in the event that you wanna mount some TVs back here. So that's up and bottom. Nice privacy door, shut everybody in, right? You keep quiet and you shut them in. I won't say a word. Need the place? You do, maybe you don't need the bunks. Maybe you need the closet space. Take the mattress off. Flip the top up. Now this entire area turns into a massive wardrobe. And you can shut it off. And you have an extremely large closet. It's really nice. Right across from this bath. Wonderful bath setup in here. Porcelain toilet with a macerator. I want to mention that off right off the bat. Medicine cabinets. Nice sink. Tankless hot water back here, shower with glass door. It is a 32 by 32 shower, and you have the shower miser. So let's say you are boondocking and you don't want to fill up that gray tank with a lot of extra water, right? You're going to fill it up eventually. But what the shower miser is going to do is you turn the valve on right next to the little blue area here, and what's going to happen is the water is going to heat up. When the water is nice and hot, that blue will turn to like a grayish, whitish blue. Then you crack the valve. Now it's just hot water flowing out. So you're not standing there with the shower head, letting all that cold water fill up your gray tank until it gets hot. No, nope, instant hot water. So you are going to love having that feature. The other great thing about back here, very large linens. So extra linens, extra soaps, everything you need for your vacation or just for full-time living, you can fit into this bathroom as we work our way back the bedroom now nice large bedroom you have a king bed again it's not 
on a tilt-of-view mechanism, so you don't have to worry about being able to access the bed with the slide in. You can easily get into that bed with the slide in. Very large nightstands, you have USB charging ports, you have the Bluetooth coach radio system, which is great to stream your music. There are speakers above the bed, as well as three very large cabinets. Large closet area over on the, by the headboard. In the back here, you have a lot of storage as well. Large closet or washer-dryer combo unit. It is prepped for that, depending on what you need. Another area for closets here, those ladders store right here for the bunks, uh, be it the bunks over here on the side or the overhead bunk. You have drawers down below. Nice little sitting area back here as well. Go ahead, sit down, tie your shoes, have a break, whatever you need. Storage behind the TV. Yep, there is a TV in here as well in the bedroom. So a lot of great features throughout this motorhome. You know what else I love about driving these or living in these or just being in the magnitude? Driving it. This is the Ford F600 chassis. Oh, it's a beast. Now, this is going to be your XLT package. So when you want a motorhome that has all the things and does all the stuff right here, this is decked out. So first, let's talk about your power plant, right? So this is the F600. You are going to have that power stroke 6.7 liter V8, 330 horsepower, 825 pound-feet of torque. That comes on about 2,000 RPM, so when you put the hammer down, you're going to get all that torque right away. The other great thing about having all of this power in the F600 chassis, and it's going to be big and it's going to be beefy, true 12,000 pound hitch out backs. You don't have to worry about towing. We'll talk a little more about towing when we get to the back on our exterior tour, but inside, this baby is set. So let's walk through the dash, give you kind of a sweep around. You have your heated remote mirrors over here, auto headlights. How about remote pedals? There's a button down here. You can dial in the gas and the brake pedal exactly how you want. Tilt wheel over here, emergency start, so you can jump start your magnitude using the house batteries to jump start your chassis battery. You have fog lights, and then we get into your dash here. 10 speed transmission, by the way. You have a number of different modes you can easily switch into, uh, whether you want eco, whether it's mud and ruts, uh, slippery, uh, whatever it is your con conditions you're going to be driving in, this can handle it because, again, did I mention this is four-wheel drive? Yep, you have two high, four high, and four low. Now, remember, when you are in four low, read your manual, but it will tell you don't go above three miles per hour. We'll show you where to lock the hubs when we go outside up front. But you go through this menu and it is chock full. I'm not going to go into every single feature, but you have trip meters up here. If you tow, you have a trailer brake down below where you can adjust the settings. You can really dial it in on the dash. There are some off-road pages if you want to see your pitch in your roll. You go into settings because this is where you adjust your safety. Driver alert, pre-collision assist. You have a lane keeping system. You can go into a number of advanced settings in here. So many different things that this can do. Turbo boost gauge, love watching that build as well. So check your fuel mileage. Everything you would expect it to do right here from the dash. You have a tow haul mode right up above. Then we move over to your sync three system. This thing is absolutely amazing. It does everything that you need a system to do. It has uh, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, Sirius XM satellite radio on there has Sirius XM Travel Link, and what that's going to do is that's going to give you like gas prices and movie prices and weather, so all kinds of useful information if you're traveling and exploring into a new location. Connect your phone for Bluetooth. Now, I, I, I do want to mention uh, it does have navigation, but it is not RV-specific navigation. But what's great about having Android Auto and Apple CarPlay is you can choose the RV-specific navigation you like, or you can simply try Road Pass Pro. It is free for one year with your new magnitude. It's Campandium, Road Trippers, RV Village, and Toga RV all combined into one. It's a couple of things here. Not only is it a great RV-specific navigation setup, but it's a social network. So when you are heading somewhere new, you can simply get on and say, hey, new camper here, I'm going to wherever it is, any great suggestions. Oh yeah, check out this restaurant, it's out of the way, or check out this campsite, or don't stay here. It's really, really useful to, tool, and you will get that free for one year. So we're in our eight-way adjustable power driving seats. 
a couple of other features I want to talk about outside of your standard HVAC controls and you have USB-C and USB-A charging ports and 12 volt over here. You have a 12 volt plug and then you have a 110 plug. 400 watts on this, but it is going to be 300 watts when you are driving. Then up above here, you have six auxiliary switches. So you're gonna have two 40 amp switches that are ignition controlled, and then you have four 25 amp switches that are ignition on. So if you wanna hook up different accessories, maybe some neon lights or whatever, you can go ahead and control those right from here. So this is going to be everything you need. Oh, the other, the last thing I wanna talk about when I'm up here is I love this, this rear view mirror always on backup camera and what's great about this setup is there's actually a speaker back there and you can control the volume so if you have a spotter whether you are backing into a tight spot or whatever it may be you can go ahead and adjust the volume and then you can hear what they're saying like slow up to the left to the right whatever it is when you're backing into a tight space but that's really a great feature and again that is on all the time and even when you pull up your side view cameras left and right when you turn on your directional that's gonna show up in your mirror there. So some great features up here. This is the inside of the Magnitude. It is an awesome driving machine. What I wanna do for you now is take and put in this slide wall, talk about Rapid Camp Plus as we do that, and walk you around the exterior. So you can hook this up to your phone with the Vega Touch app, and I am going to take and multitask here. Well, this pairs with this. We're going to put in our slide and talk about all of the features of Rapid Camp Plus. So let's hit retract, and it'll come in. So right up here is your home screen. You can control your lights on or off, your master lights on or off, all in one touch. The sky shade we opened, you can control that from here, open or close it. Take a look at your tank levels, turn your water pump on from here. Look at your house battery, your chassis battery, start your generator, look at your climate from here. Uh, also check on your solar. This is really uh, a nice option. So your go solar, so your magnitude comes standard with 100 watts of solar charging. If you would like to have more, how about the solar plus package, solar panel plus, 500 watts of solar and that's going to upgrade you to a 30 amp controller and you can check on that right here the lightning bolt button that is where you really dial in your generator we'll show you where the generator is and talk more about that on our exterior tour but your auto gen start is here set your triggers from voltage to your hvac set the run time the quiet time everything you need your generator to do you can control right from here the light button is just that controls all the lights in your motorhome if there is an arrow that will dim the light there's also an accent light that uh, is right above the overhead bunk here, I can go ahead and turn that on. It's probably gonna throw the color off on here, but that's all right. See, it adds a nice little blue tint. And if you press it really fast, it turns your magnitude into a cool little dance club. And you can really blast the music from your Sync 3. So control all your lights from here. Next button down is your climate, front and rear ACs. We talked about that, but set uh, your, your temperature from here. Remember when you're setting your temperature, never set your air conditioner, the, the temperature more than 10 to 15 degrees below that ambient temperature. Turn on your furnace from here. Remember your propane needs to be on to run your furnace. We'll show you where that is when we head outside. Vent fans, kitchen fan, bath fan. And the next button down is for your slides and your awnings. And then the next button down is for your settings. This is where you're gonna to connect to the mobile app, adjust your screen brightness, set the time, whatever it is you need to do for our settings you can do that right from here. So what we are gonna do now is turn this off. I put the slide in because it's just gonna be easier to see. So let me turn this off. I am gonna grab my jacket because it is a chilly day. You know where I, where I stored the jacket? I saved one little item for you. Underneath the dinette, you have storage, which you can access with the wall in. And then you can take and put on your jacket into Steve's friendly motorhome neighborhood. And I'm going to meet you outside up front and walk around the Magnitude RS36. As we walk up front, let's talk about the beautiful full body paint. This one is Vermilion Cliffs. There are three options. You also have Chandler Blue and you have Granite Creek. One thing you will find no matter what color you choose 
Up front, I love the way this front end looks first off. Okay, you have your fog lights down below. It says Super Duty, the big Ford logo. It looks tough, right? This looks tough. You also have Diamond Shield front paint protection on here, so that's gonna keep this paint looking fresh and protect it from little dings and chips. Up front, right here in your wheel, we talked about the four-wheel drive system. You have locking hubs in here. Ford recommends you just keep those in auto, so make sure they're both in auto and you should be absolutely fine. Here are the mirrors with integrated turn signals. You can go ahead and get those out of the way if you need to. Running boards to help yourself get in. Nice interior, very roomy, very, very spacious. The side view cameras we showed you are mounted here. We have one on each side for your left and right turn signal. Have this window open just a little bit right now to get a little ventilation in there so it didn't get stuffy while we were shooting the video. But nice thing is, is these are top hinge. So you just turn the handle and they open just like this. So in the event it is raining, it's not gonna fly inside. It'll roll just off the window here. And if you would like, you can always put out that beautiful awning. Do that inside or with Rapid Camp Plus. Out it comes. There are LED lights in the arms of the awning. There are also wind sensors. So in the event the weather becomes very turbulent or breezy, it'll automatically retract it for you. But we do recommend that before you head out on your excursion, go ahead and bring it in for the day. How about we get into some of this storage? You're going to have 74 cubic feet of storage on here. A lot of great sized bays. This one's going to have some pass through. Here's your 1800 watt inverter. There are controls in the door. When we pass the door, I'll show you where all that stuff is. Rotocast material, each bay has its own light. Drain plugs as well, so real easy to just hose out and clean out when you are done with your trip. And then you just simply shut them up and you walk on down and we'll open more storage bays for you. Inside your door, you do have a screen. So if you'd like to just keep the screen open and get some ventilation in there, can do that as well. Underneath here, have a couple of batteries for you. Oh, the other thing I wanted to mention is we're talking batteries. With the uh, Solar Panel Plus package, you get two additional batteries if you upgrade to that 500 watts of solar. Inside here, this is the turn your 1800 watt inverter on or off, and then your 12 volt battery disconnect switch. You're going to want to take and turn that on, leave it on your entire time. I want to head right back up here because I forgot some very important numbers for you. Your occupant and cargo carrying capacity, 3,326 pounds on this RS36, and this measures 37 feet, eight inches in length. So nice big motor home design for all your adventures, even designed for outdoor entertaining. Exterior TV right here. It is on a swivel, so on a day like today, you're not going to watch TV in the direct sunlight. So you sit over here and you just flip it that way and you don't have the glare onto the TV. Then you just tuck it away when you're done and you can lock it right up. We talked about propane. You're going to need that for your hot water. You're going to need it for your furnace. You're going to need it for the exterior propane connection we will get to. But right here is where you're going to take and have that filled. And these are essentially the guts for your hydraulic one-touch leveling jacks. If you need to manually retract them, you would do that right from here. Lock that bay up. A couple of 110s over here. You do need to be plugged into shore power or have your generator running to get those babies fired up. Working our way back. Another nice large storage bay in here. A little pass-through up in here. Exhaust for your furnace. And how about this? Love this. Now this is, this is a great ultimate outdoor machine, right? Especially for boondocking. Uh, so you fill up your 75 gallons of fresh water right here. Now you have plenty of water for you. You have your exterior fridge full of drinks and snacks, your sink, and there's a little pump here. Get that water down. <coughs> the Sounds <coughs> right. Sounds like a little mini bike in there, but that is going to keep that sink nice and clean for you. Storage lights, everything you would need in an outdoor kitchen, except a grill because you're not going to put that in here. You're going to connect that right here. Grill, 
fire pit, griddle, whatever you need. Exterior propane connection is right here. Make sure your propane is on. Regulated connection in the event you're not getting the flames you like, go ahead and adjust the regulator on your device, not on here. Working our way around back, huge, massive one piece rear cap ladder to climb up top. The backup camera is right up there. That is going to give you that nice picture we talked about. Down below, right here, seven pin, four pin connector, your 12,000 pound hitch. You can tow anything you would like with this. Over on the other side, you ready? All kinds of goodies to show you over here on the magnitude a storage bay 50 amp detachable shore power cord on your magnitude you can store that wherever you happen to store it doesn't matter where now remember when you are connecting your 50 amp shore power cord that you go over to after you have this thing all plugged in and locked into place over at the receptacle breakers off plug in then turn the breakers on there's a transfer switch inside of here so what that is going to do is determine your source of power is it getting it from 50 amp shore power is it getting it from the generator where is it coming from then after it makes that determination it will switch over to that source of power good old cable tv when's the last time you happened to watch cable you can, if your campsite offers it, you just plug some coax into here. We showed you where the in entertainment systems are in there. You can go ahead and get some cable TV in your magnitude. Two fuel fills on here. This is the rear. This is going to be 40 gallons. Your front is going to be 28 gallons. Ultra low sulfur diesel fuel only. Keep that in mind. You also have a DEF tank. We will show you where that is as we make our way up front. Another large storage bay, a little pass through in here. City water connection and all of our plumbing connections. For your city water, you are gonna to wanna to use a hose like this. For potable water, you plug this into here, you run it over to the campsite, turn on your water. When you're hooked up to city water, turn your water pump off. When you are dry camping, turn your water pump on. And again, 75 gallons of fresh water. You have a 40 gallon black tank, a 40 gallon gray tank, and we are going to get those drained for you right now. I like the way this bay is set up because you have enough room over here where you could take and store your sewer hose and a little bin and keep it right where it needs to be. This pipe, it takes and it rotates so it makes it really easy to connect your, uh, your sewer line. This is brand new. Typically you would be wearing gloves when you are doing this, but all I have to do is run this through here. You lock this into place, pull your black tank, pull your gray tank, you've successfully drained your tanks. Exterior shower out here, hot and cold. And if you would like to flush your tanks, you can do that right here. And because that drains right out of the bottom like that, you can just lock this up and away you go. There's that front fuel for you right here. Tankless hot water, we talked about that in the bathroom. This is going to be the exhaust for that. A fuse and an on off switch out here for that. Not much you need to do here. How about our generator? Own in quiet diesel 6,000 watt generator. You can start it from here if you need to. You have hours on it so you can keep up with your maintenance. And there's also a breaker out here in the event that it's not running. DEF tank is right here. You can keep an eye on that on the dashboard as that does, oh, so many things for you. And finally, we have another large storage bay. How about that? I told you. It's good for so many things. What do you want to use the Magnitude RS36 for? Think about it, learn more about it. Hop online, thormotorcoach.com, learn about all of the Magnitude floor plans, choose your favorite, and go out and have a great time. I'm Steve DeVal from Thor Motor Coach. I appreciate you watching and keep it right here because we'll be back before you know it with another tour.